So when I first announced that I wanted to do art, I received quite some interesting feedback. I had people going, art? Really? And still others went, you sure you want to do art? Aren't you too smart for that? And oh, I particularly found this one intriguing. Someone burst out, art? And waste all this intelligence? As though I said I wanted to be him, but never mind. But see, all of these responses had me wondering if I got the meaning of art wrong, so I looked it up, and here's what I found. That art is the expression and application of creative skill and imagination. So I asked myself, how does this suggest not intelligent or less smart? Because even the word smart itself has got some art in there. But then I found the problem. See, the problem is being surrounded by a society that looks down upon art yet idolizes celebrities of art. The problem is this same society that looks down upon art yet awards celebrated artists with honorary degrees and doctorates. It's more like the saying art is not that smart, but after you get far with your art, then you all of a sudden become smart enough to deserve a PhD. How sad. See, there is a fundamental problem with our value system. And if you still in this 21st century hold a primitive mindset that art is for people who couldn't have made it in science, then I'm sorry to say. That you, my dear, are conclusive proof that a term illiterate should not just be limited to people who cannot read and write. See, art requires as much intelligence as any other field of study would. As a matter of fact, every profession requires intelligence, but just not in the same direction. Or maybe we never took the time to explain the science in the art. Take for instance comedy an art designed to drive its audience into laughter. Now see, the human body is a complex maze of neural network which is responsible for different actions on the body. So essentially, a comedian is one who knows the necessary strings to pull and the right choice, sequence and context of words needed to excite this neural network into exuding a state of rapturous laughter. Now tell me, tell me this activity doesn't transcend art and delve right into the heart of neurology. Well, no wonder they say laughter is medicine. So I guess the next time a stand-up comedian mounts stage, I'm gonna have you call him a surgical artist. Cause these geniuses can actually medicate someone with a hole in heart and make him whole in heart without even touching him. Now all of this scientific explanation to the art was absolutely unnecessary, but I had to do it for the intelligibly questionable ones whose understanding of intelligence is only seen through the lens of science. So that was just a cue for their eyes to see things better, so I guess we can call it an IQ check. And I'll have you know, that Rowan Atkinson, popularly known by his art name, Mr. Bean, a man who made a whole generation laugh on many occasions without saying a word, actually holds a master's degree in electrical engineering from the Oxford University. See, if he had told you this himself, you would have thought it was one of his silly jokes, well now the joke's on you. See, if you think comedy is that simple, try it, and see how easily you become the joke, see who's laughing now. See, enough with the jokes, let's talk fine art. Ever heard of Leonardo da Vinci? Well, the concept of IQ didn't exist in his time, but experts say he would have fallen somewhere between 180 and 190 and as such is considered one of the most intelligent men of all time. And oh, did I mention he was a painter? So just in case you thought art was child's play, you could try doing fine art and see whether your art will be fine. See, I can go on and on, be it applied art, visual art or performance art, from architects to interior decorators, photographers to animators, dancers to actors and musicians alike. See, all of these artists put a great deal of work into their crafts and it's a shame that people enjoy these creations and yet are not willing to pay value for them. And like that is not enough, they don't give them due credit for their work. Maybe you should try imagining a world without artists. Yep, think about it. You take out your phone and there are no images on any website whatsoever because there was no one to create it. Nothing to read because there are no writers. You turn on your TV and nothing shows because there was no one to show the videos in the first place. I can keep going, but then there'll be no spoken word artist as well, so I might as well just keep quiet. Trust me, that'll be one hell of a boring world. For even literally, if you take out the word art from the word F, you'll be left with eh? So let us celebrate art and uphold our artists. Because even God is himself a great artist. I mean, creating the entire universe in all of its magnificent splendor and molding man in a hurry like a potter. Well, I guess it's all beginning to make you much more meaning while we profess how great thou art art.